Hello, this is Dr. Mercola, and today I'd like to talk to you about one of the most abundant minerals in your body. Researchers have concluded that its importance may be underestimated and it's a central role in your overall health underappreciated. And just what is that mineral? Well, of course, it's sulfur. But why is it so important? Well, for a number of reasons. Uh, primarily because sulfur bonds are required for your proteins to maintain their three-dimensional conformational shape. And these sulfur bonds play a major influence in how these proteins actually function and work. Additionally, your hair, skin, and nails are actually made of a very tough protein composed largely of sulfur, and it's called keratin. Uh, and a, your connective tissue and your cartilage also contain proteins with these flexible sulfur bonds. But as you age, the flexible tissues in your body tend to lose their elasticity, which can lead to sagging and wrinkling skin, as well as less flexible muscles and less comfortable joints. So in addition to bonding protein, sulfur is also required for the proper structure and function of your enzymes. And if you don't have sufficient amounts of sulfur in your body, these enzymes simply can't function the way they were designed and supposed to. But perhaps one of the most important roles of sulfur is to help you form a vitally important antioxidant. And that antioxidant is called glutathione. And glutathione has a unique role as it's present inside each and every one of your cells. And some experts have even uh, given it a master antioxidant status because it helps most of your other antioxidants like vitamin E and vitamin C become recharged once they be perform their function as an antioxidant, become oxidized, and then lose their electrons. Glutathione uh, donates electrons to them. So it's important to understand that glutathione is not absorbed very well and all when you swallow it. And not only that, but when oral glutathione supplements are, are taken, they can actually interfere with your body's ability to produce it naturally. This becomes especially important after the age of 20 as glutathione typ levels typically start to de decrease at about 1% a year. So what are some of the best ways you can increase your glutathione production naturally? Well, the first is one of the most important ones is to get plenty of appropriate exercise. And I'm a big fan, of course, of the peak fitness type exercises. Also, you want to optimize your vitamin D levels through natural sun exposure and, and there's even some evidence that vitamin D increases intracellular glutathione levels. And of course you want to get sulfur because it's well documented in improving your glutathione levels. It's an essential component of it, typically the rate limiting component. So how do you know if you're getting enough sulfur through your diet? Well, there's no doubt in my mind that the best way for you to obtain sulfur is through the food you eat, but there are some important factors that will be important to be aware of to make sure you're getting enough. First of all, only two of the 20 amino acids normally present in food contain sulfur, and those amino acids are methionine and cysteine. Methionine cannot be made by your body, it's an essential amino acid and must be supplied through your diet. Cysteine is made by your body, but requires a steady, steady supply of sulfur in order for you to do so. These amino acids, methionine and cysteine, cannot be stored by your body, and any that are, are not eaten uh, and, and are not used are readily oxidized to sulfate, which is then excreted in your urine or stored in the form of glutathione. So sulfur typically is the best uh, obtained, from, as I said, from the food you eat. And one of the best sources of sulfur comes from humanely raised pastured meat, organic. And uh, meat and fish are also considered complete proteins as they contain all the sulfur uh, amino acids your body needs, cysteine and methionine. If you don't eat animal foods, there are other sources of sulfur, including organic pastured eggs, coconut oil, olive oil, as well as most of the cruciferous vegetables, assuming, of course, the vegetables are grown in sulfur-replete soil. So some of these uh, cruciferous vegetables include brock, uh, Brussels sprouts, legumes, asparagus, garlic, kale, and onions. But remember, if this, it, uh, soils around the world are becoming increasingly sulfur depleted, and this uh, produces vegetables that are, have less sulfur uh, in them. So this, uh, this depletion is related to over farming, decreased sulfur deposits on, on the crops, and as a result of emission reducing technologies used at uh, coal-fired power plants.
And some of you may have, uh, I may remember my interview with Dr. Stephanie Seneff, who is a senior research scientist at MIT. And one of her favorite ways of getting sulfur is also very relaxing. And that is you can soak your body in a warm bath with magnesium sulfate or Epsom salts. So you can do this twice a week or so and about a half a cup to a cup of uh, Epsom salts you pour into your bath and then your body will uh, absorb the, the sulfur through your skin. However, if for whatever reason you're unable to eat enough sulfur containing foods or soak in Epsom salts or get enough sunshine, an easier solution for you may be to take some supplemental sulfur. In that regard, MSM can be a key uh, help in donating its sulfur to benefit your body. Even though MSM is a supplement, it's interesting that foods actually contain trace amounts of it. Raw milk and raw cheese contain some of the highest amounts of natural MSM, but you can see other sources in the page that this video is on. If you're going to use MSM as a supplement, there are some factors you'll want to consider to make sure you're getting a good brand. First of all, find MSM that is produced using an extensive distillation process to ensure purity and to help eliminate ingredient inconsistencies. Ideally, find one that is combined with other sources of sulfur that can also effectively serve as glutathione precursors. You also want to confirm that the MSM is produced by a high quality manufacturer, ideally one using a dedicated facility to help avoid introduction of potential contaminants. And you want to make certain that the company that's producing it maintains high levels for its dedicated facility and has appropriate certifications, such as including CGMP uh, compliance and passes the ISO 9001 standards. And, and really, it's going to be important to make sure they have an independent third-party objective testing process to confirm the purity of the product. So, if you're convinced that sulfur is going to be a useful strategy for you optimizing your health and uh, you're challenged to find it through high sources of or high quality sources of vegetables such as the cruciferous vegetables grown in sulfur replete soils then I would strongly recommend you consider adding a high quality MSM supplement to your regimen because this can be a really important and powerful tool to help you take control of your health.